Season six is almost over, but the events are still going strong. Hey! This weekend, if you're on the Concha del Mar, make your way to the deck party, because all games played on decks 15 and 16 will earn double XP. In the city, earn double XP at the Kia Challenge. Complete all the challenges and earn rewards. Next weekend, aboard the Concha del Mar, it's an all new event, Power Up. It's a unique atmosphere with five on five gameplay and awesome prizes, so don't miss out. Meanwhile, it's time to crown the new champions of the city. So head to Rival Day and see if your affiliation is the best affiliation. That's it for me. I'll see you at level 40. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. Get ready for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first and second year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Hart. And Kevin, you talked about some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all capable of making a spectacular play at any given. Substitution and on the USA Substitution with some changes. Stevens is checked in. Team World. And MP Cameron subbed in Thomas. for Maxi. And, and Team World promoted. making a change here. So Team World's five right now. Kaminga out there with Precious Achua. Then it's Thomas. And it's Vildoza in at the point. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. To the inside. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Thomas got five points so far. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The pass to Mobley. MP kicks to Mobley. Passes it to Alvarado. Just five on the clock. USA needs to get off a shot. Shot, high post. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. You brought up the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Catching up on the changes for USA. Smith checked in for Stewart, and it's Reed in for Mobile. MP passes to Reed. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. Reed misses. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Bill Doza misses. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Weekend. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Shengun passes to Pakusevsky. Inside. And he slams it one-handed. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Ah! 
USA trails by six. Here's Alvarado and block. That one goes careening off the glass. To the middle. Here's Primo. No good on the shot. Smith with the defensive effort. To end the run. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First, you cannot afford to get too physical with MP. I mean, he's crafty at figuring out how to get to the line by drawing those fouls. And both free throws good for MP. 112 left to play in the first quarter. Down low. Here's Primo. A good finish at the rack off the split feet. And Team World leads by six. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Count the basket. On offense, here's Team World. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Akusevsky, the pass to Primo. It's blocked. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. And Team foul on five. the shot, so he'll get a chance Team at the line. Boy, the perfect blend of style and substance. Team MP in entertains fans and dominates opponents. And both free throws good for MP. Here now, Vildoza. He's got five. Pass to Primo. Here's Shangun. Reed covering. MP dishes to Reed. Here's Primo. Over Smith. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play. Team World out in front. back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same foul. goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast too. What a terrific First event this has been. First and a chance foul. here presented by Gatorade Into to see who's on the floor. Team. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for USA. They've got MP. Read out there with Anthony Edwards. And it's Smith, and it's Alvarado in at the one. Just three to shoot from the stripe. The shot comes out, so USA will take it the other way. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. Smith kicks to Edwards. He takes it in, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Great use of the dribble drive by Edwards there, earning himself. Substitution on the court, into the lineup for Team World. One fifty-two left to play in the first half. Here's Shengun, covered by Smith. That one goes in. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-open. USA leading by 11. Going inside. Kicks to MP. Rob. One nineteen left here in the second. Here now, Vildoza. Eight points for him. Here's Pakusevsky. Offline with his three. And it's Reed pulling it down. Now USA with it. The drive by MP. Nice shot by Smith. And teammate to teammate on the assist that time. Well, the communication between them, that's what we see every game during the regular season. And it's on display here in the All-Star Week as well. Pass to Shengu. Here now, Vildoza. 
here's Pakushevsky. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Stevens. Here's Reed. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Pakushevsky, covered by Smith. Five on the clock. Team World needs to get off a shot. Here's Primo. Team World with another miss. Here's Stephens. And it's USA riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the run. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. To the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Team World trails by 10. So Team World's five right now. They've got Thomas. And it's Primo in at the two guard. Two free throws USA coming up, and they call the shooting foul. MP. It's going to be First on MP. Foul. Wow, they Two made every foul. free throw here in the second the half. And World. that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Reed is checked in for Mobley. And there's the pass to MP. USA moving the ball around, and Smith gets double teamed. Now, here's MP. He's guarded close. Four on the clock. Steffens can't get it to go. And you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. Primo, the pass to Pakusevsky. It's hauled in by USA. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. MP. Smith outside, back to MP. Inside, and he banks in the lane. Smith's got seven points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. It's good. Two points. Primo. USA leading by eight. MP trying to free himself up. No good that time. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Giddy. He has seven. You know, scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Here's Reed. It's blocked. And so it looks like it's still a USA ball. Edwards has come in for USA. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. We've got 148 left to play here in the third. And sort of a, a revelation this season. He's quickly established himself as one of the league's top young players. And that's always impressive to see because there were a lot of people who had their doubts about him. But he seems to thrive on proving those people wrong, and he's off to a good start. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feet. MP's got four points in the quarter. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for USA. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior feet. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. Here's Smith, and Smith with the stuff. Did not help but to love the court sense and the vision. That's a terrific find by MP. Team World trails by 12. There's 53 seconds left in the third quarter. 
Here's Primo. Lays it up off the glass. Primo has got eight points. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. MP dishes to Smith. Here's MP. Can't hit from in close. And it's Team World with the ball. Good save it. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. MP. He'll shoot two free throws. Second this whistle. is his first free throw. USA wins it. I can't say enough about how well all these young men competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight. And we're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone. Yo, what's up, man? Good game last night.
everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it, you got it. Come on, man. Way to grab that, MP. Good shot, MP. Shot, shot. 